with Sonika Goginini from the Fraunhofer IPK, that's the Institute of Product uh, and Design Technology. Hi Sonika, nice to have you. Um, how do you like this event so far? Thank you very much for having me here. I like it a lot. Um, I was here last year as well, um, thanks to the cooperation again with uh, Rolls-Royce. And I really like it because it has a mix of um, a lot of uh, seminars going on and also a lot of people who have their stand. So it's a good mix to have a complete idea of the IoT world. So it's a nice event for me. Can you tell us a little bit about your cooperation with uh, Rolls-Royce Deutschland and um, tell us about the product that you uh, developed together? Yeah. Uh, so I'm working in the de Department of Information and Process Systems. Uh, so we try to work with connecting data together to be make it into meaningful knowledge for the uh, end customers. And this was a project where we worked with Rolls-Royce in order to identify how we can use the potential of data to give back something to the user. And then we came up with the um, product data viewer. It is basically a semantic um, assistant system uh, which it works on an existing database, connects it together with a semantic uh, graph, so to say, and then gives the right information or the context-sensitive information to the user. So we researched about this. It was a, it's in a project called Cockpit 4.0. So it was a three-year project. We worked together closely with Rolls-Royce and the user itself, and we ended up developing this architecture and a prototypical implementation and tested it with the user, so we are excited to actually implement it in the company itself in the long run, yeah. It's great to hear actual projects yeah. happening, um, and I assume it started with an MVP and now is, is something real. Um, can you tell us a little bit about agile software development and how important it might be for large companies to reach out to experts? Uh, absolutely. We did make sure we had the user from the beginning, like from the requirement collection throughout the development, and we did make small MVPs in the beginning because we didn't know if we were going the right direction or the wrong direction. So talking to users, not only just one user, but different users because of their level of expertise, you get to listen to different perspectives. So it's important to take into account what features they like, how it should look like, what, sh what is purpose it should fulfill and this and each time we did a usability study to see what the user judges from the system so I think it's super important to do an agile implementation of software especially yeah that's very cool um, did it all start with like a, a series of like workshops to kick things off to, to kind of find the ways uh, to communicate yeah, it started off with a series of workshops because we wanted to identify where, which, is, which has the most potential for us to implement. So we did a lot of workshops and we came up with around 80 user stories. So it was a huge um, collection of things we could do. And then we uh, pulled it down to uh, top five where we had like data available, the users were interested and we saw the most potential in actually developing something like that and showing it to the, because it was supposed to be a pro prototype. So we wanted to make sure it serves the highest purpose. So that's when we identified five and we use, uh, actually implemented for two of the use cases out of the five, so yeah. I really like this story. Um, it's certainly going to be on my radar and I'm curious to see where uh, the projects are heading next. Thank you so much. Yeah, we have a few publications online as well already, so feel free to go ahead, read, read on that, and also to contact us for further information. Yeah.